Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the topic bacterial diseases of human beings. Of all the non-bacterial species, only a few are pathogenic to man. The optimum temperature of most pathogen is around 37 degree Celsius, close to the normal human body temperature. Individual strains of the species may show variation in the degree of virulence and pathogenesis. Some virulent strains causes severe diseases while others are less virulent giving rise to mild symptoms. Pathogenic effects on the host are due to multiplication of diseases causing microbe disturbance in the host metabolism or production of the toxins. Pathogenic bacteria produces toxins that damage the host cell. These toxins are transported by blood and lymph and may cause cytotoxic effects at the site of the bacteria growth or away from it. Generally, bacterial toxins are grouped into exotoxins, endotoxins, endotoxins. Exotoxins are secreted by the pathogenic bacterial cells and released into its surroundings. Endotoxins are exotoxins released by pathogenic microbes in the gastrointestinal tract. Endotoxins are generally cell associated substances of the pathogen and are not secreted but are released with the rupture of bacterial cell. Bacterial diseases are categorized into respiratory tract diseases, infection of the gastrointestinal tract, diseases of the urinogenital tract and skin infections respiratory tract bacterial disease pneumonia it is a inflammation of air spaces in the lungs due to the bacterial infection causative agent streptococcus pneumonia symptoms affects the respiratory tract and lungs causing inflammation include fever chills cough and shortness of breath etc mode of transmission it can be transmitted through inhalation of virus airborne droplet infections and through blood tuberculosis this is highly destructive and widespread disease five types are known human bovian avian murine and the one on cold blooded animals causative agent mycobacterium tuberculosis symptoms are slowly progressive diseases affecting the lungs and other organs are also sometimes affected spread of the chronic involving destruction of lung tissue followed by partial healing mode of transmission through air not by the surface contact inhalation of air carrying particles or spray from the sputum of infected individuals is the usual source of infection hoping cough it is a severe disease affecting the children especially under the age of 1 year causative agent bordetella processes symptoms it attaches to the cells of the upper respiratory tract it produces an exotoxin which damages the host cell the symptoms is a recurring spasmodic cough mode of transmission it is transmitted from person to person through droplets produced during coughing and sneezing infections of the gastrointestinal tract typhoid causative agent salmonella typhi symptoms a progressively mounting fever headache and weakness are typical raw spots appear on the abdomen and diarrhea occurs in severe cases intestinal perforation and hemorrhage result and may be fatal mode of transmission transmission is mainly through the contaminated water and food cholera it is a facultatively anaerobic gram negative and carbohydrate fermenting pathogen causative agent Vibrio cholera symptoms sudden 
onset of nausea, vomiting profuse, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Mode of transmission, drinking water and eating food contaminated with the cholera bacteria. Anthrax, causative agent, bacillus anthrax, symptoms, incutaneous anthrax, ulceration of skin occur, headache and vomiting are common symptoms. Mode of transmission, transmitted to man by direct contact with the infected animals like goat, sheep, etc. Diseases of the urinogenital tract. These diseases are generally referred to as sexually transmitted diseases. Such diseases are a difficult problem for public health care because of reluctance of sufferers to give information and undergo treatment. Example, syphilis, costive agent, triponema pallidum, Symptoms, forms, lesions at the initial site of the infection spread to other parts of the body such as muscle membrane, eye joints and central nervous system. Hypersensitive reaction in the form of skin rashes appear. Mode of transmission. Infection usually spread by sexual contact. Gonorrhea. Costive agent. Neseria gonorrhea. Symptoms. Painful symptoms appear in the males due to the infection of urethral canal. Vaginal infections cause mild symptoms. Mode of transmission transmitted through sexual contact with the infected partner. Thank you.